Damien Rice was one of the most inspirational guitarists and songwriters of the 2000s. His influence is still felt today with acts such as Ed Sheeran and many others still using these kind of techniques that he popularised. I'm going to show you a very easy way that we can play this with simple chords and the melody just on one string and then how we can put it all together using some of Damien Rice's techniques. Let's have a close-up on these chords. We have a capo at the 6th fret to keep this in tune with the original recording. Damien tends to prefer a lower capo these days so we can lower that voice range, but we're going to keep the capo at the 6th fret. And the simple chords would be the E minor, C major, G major, and D major, preferably with an F sharp in the root note, that F sharp becomes important as you will see later. But that is the verse until we have an A minor 7, you could just play a standard A minor, but A minor 7 is so simple, just remove that third finger. We'd have a C chord, and then there is also a fancy way of playing a D chord, which Damien uses an awful lot especially in this song, and that's just by moving the C chord up two frets. We'll be using that a little bit as well. That would be our verse. The chorus is G, C, and D. Stones taught me to fly. We could do that same thing again, but again using this fancy way of playing the D major chord. Life taught me to cry Cause it's not hard to fall When you flow like a cannonball And then repeat what we've done before Links to some recommended chord sheets and tab and stuff All in the description below And a simple strumming version could be done with just Down, 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 up And I'm just using my first finger there Damien often uses his thumb, and he uses his thumb a lot in live versions that I've seen. That's not something we normally recommend as guitar teachers, but in this case it's what the guy who wrote it does. And you're just trying to catch the strings as evenly as possible, trying to get some volume but not have any stick out. Uh, something to experiment with, you could also use a pick. That would be the same. Down, 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 up, down, 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 up. For, for the chorus as well. That melody... That melody is just playing the vocal line. Still a little bit of your song in my ear. Still a little bit of your words I long to hear. Feel a little hard to say what's going on. So just a slight variation on the melody. I'll have the tab on the screen there so you can see that. Remember those numbers are all proportionate to the capo. So if it says fret two on the tab, that's the second fret, but that is now here. Two frets from the capo, one, two. If it's fifth fret, it's one, two, three, four, five, it's there. The fun bit comes when we start putting it together, but you have to be able to do those separate parts first. This is not a super beginner tutorial. This is kind of higher intermediate, I guess, if you're um, adding all these bells and whistles that we're adding now. The harder stuff, this isn't, 100% accurate to how Damien Rice plays it because there are many different versions that he's done. Some with a capo, some without, some with different capos, some with a pick, some without. And he's always adding certain embellishments. I'm going to try and summarise as many of those up here. Here's a way that we can play this song in the Damien Rice fashion. <laughs> OK, 
here. So we've got an E minor that we're playing with one finger, but for most of this, we're only playing the thicker three or four strings. Kind of for the whole song if you wanted to, but especially for this riff. So we're still playing that. Occasionally keeping the open uh, third string, so the G ringing out. And for that to really make sense, you need to have a good practical knowledge of slash chords in this key, which is the key of G, which there's a lesson on up here, and there's also another link up there to a recent tutorial of Blowing in the Wind, which uses these same kind of techniques. Do those two first, and this will make a lot more sense to you, and you'll have a lot more success much quicker, I promise you. So just a recap. parts what's happening is I'm playing the chords with the first two fingers only freeing up the other fingers to play the melody so this is still an E minor going to a C chord Going to a G, going to a D, but that's really just the F sharp and the open A. It's only really two strings, or the three with the D. So it's kind of this, but we're only playing the thick, thicker three strings so that we can add more melody content. strumming very lightly. I'm just strumming with the first finger. Again, you could strum with your thumb, which is more what Damien does. Next part. That's to the fourth fret. It goes to the fifth fret. First finger goes flat. So play the second fret to a G chord. Only strumming, again, the thicker four strings. Slide two to four. this version of the D chord. Three, four. Chorus Stones taught me to fly. Simple chords first. Love taught me to lie. I'm gonna slide to the new D now. C slide it to the D because it's not hard to fall. But you float like a cannonball. So hopefully that gives you something to practice to be able to nail this classic tune. Again, I've only covered some of the variations there. There's a lot more, a lot of layer guitars on the original, uh, more pop recording with the uh, drums and everything. Hopefully that's something you're interested in. Any questions, let me know below. And I hope you check out more videos on the Andy Guitar YouTube channel, website and app, which you can do right now. <laughs>